We're dealing with two cemeteries here, basically. This part, Old City Cemetery, and at the south end, Davis Cemetery. Davis Cemetery is a historically African-American cemetery, started in 1945. This one was started in 1848. Well, the first thing we did is we photographed all the existing stones. You know these people are buried here, but there's a lot, you can see a lot of open areas, unmarked graves. So we want to document all the burials in the cemetery and have a, have a record of that. These things get lost over time. They could have been made of wood and they've just rotted, vandalism, weather, and they break down and they're lost. Ground penetrating radar is, is shooting energy into the ground and having it bounce back and recording it to see what anomalies or changes there are in the soil or the ground. We are not necessarily looking for coffins or, or, or bones or anything like that. We're looking for the change in the magnetic field of the soil. You're standing on a creek bank and you see all the striations of the dirt and you take a backhoe and you dig out a section of that dirt and you put it back in, it's gonna be changed forever compared to the dirt adjacent that's never been disturbed. And that's what we're trying to look for. We will uh, take the radar and we will basically tune it to the soil that we are on because every site is different. Once that's done, we, we lock those positions in and then we do the entire site and use the existing burials as a benchmark of what to look for in between the existing markers. If there's nothing wrong and then you hit something different, there'll be a hyperbole signature in the radar gram. The survey we conducted for the GPR and the analysis of uh, looking at the data, we found a, what we think are possibly 29 unmarked burials. And when you get into cemeteries from the 1800s, you know you've lost stones over the years, markers. I thought 29 was a good number. It's rewarding to locate them, but it is, um, it's still a little frustrating not knowing who they are. Since we've located these, the Cemetery Association, they're going to buy unknown markers and place them at those spots in the cemetery. The next step beyond that is for the Cemetery Association to work with the Haggard Library Genealogy and start putting names with these places. We don't know who they are. So you have a lot of your city's history right here and you can kind of walk it. And um, it's, it's a peaceful place, it's a beautiful place but there's a lot of your community history right here.